For the last few months, I was trying for a job opportunity in UAE, and finally I got it. But now it has come to my knowledge that the project that I have to work for is a temple. It's a mandir. I was just curious to ask that if I worked in that project, would I be a participant in this wrongdoing of building a place where shirk would be promoted and shall I be held accountable for it? Kindly guide me on this. I would love to work in UAE, but I can't go against Allah, the most merciful and all-knowing. Brother Muhammad Zishan, who is living in Saudi Arabia and who wanted to, was looking for a job to work in UAE, finally got a job in UAE, but he realized that the work he's going to do is for a company which is building a temple, a mandir. So he's asking me, is it okay if I work for a company which is building a place of shirk? Will I be held responsible? And the reply to this is given in the verse of the Quran in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 2, where Allah says, that help one another in righteousness and piety, but do not help one another in sin and rancor. <coughs> so this verse of the Quran is very clear cut of Surah Maida chapter number 5 verse number 2 is telling the Muslims and the believers that do help one another in righteousness, in piety, in good work. But do not help one another in sin and transgression and in rancor. And but natural, the question he poses that can you work for a company which is building a temple and you very well know and you said that in your question that it's a place of shirk which is a major sin so will you be held accountable? Will you be held accountable? Of course, based on the verse of the Quran, you'll be held accountable. Uh, you'll be held accountable. It is like you asking me that can I work for a company which is producing alcohol, which you know is a major sin? Or you ask me the question, can I work for a company which is producing cocaine and marijuana and brown sugar and drugs which is going to kill thousands of people? Now, when you work for a company dealing in alcohol or drug, it's a major sin. But working for a company building a temple is a much graver sin. Because as we all know, that shirk is the biggest sin in Islam. So, in no way can you work for a company or help in the building of a place of worship which is involving shirk. Place of worship of the other religion besides Islam like building a temple or building a church, it is haram, it's a grave major sin and surely you'll be held accountable. So surely I would, I would advise you that you should not take up this job. You can take any other job which is halal, but this job is surely haram. And unfortunately you find today that there are many Muslim politicians in many parts of the world who love to go for the inauguration of the temple and mandir or go for inauguration of churches to show that they're secular, to show that they are very tolerant. In no way, if you go for the inauguration of a temple or a church, makes you tolerant. It is nothing but you are helping one another in sin and shirk, which is the gravest sin in Islam. Imagine a Muslim politician going to a factory which is making weapons for the terrorist. Now, if you go for the inauguration of a factory which is making weapons for terrorists, which is who are killing thousands of innocent human beings is much better than going for the inauguration of a temple or going for inauguration of a church because in temple and church shirk is done and shirk is the major sin in Islam and Allah is very clear cut Allah says in Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 48 and Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 116 that if Allah pleases he may forgive any sin but the sin of shirk he'll never forgive he will never forgive. For anyone who has committed shirk has strayed away far and it is the most heinous sin. So I do agree with you that you should not take up this job. You can search for a better job and surely, surely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, your risk is confirmed. Allah has already written down the risk 50,000 years before the creation of the heavens and the earth. So your risk is confirmed. You will not get one dirham more or one dirham less. Allah is checking you that if Allah gives you risk through a major sin, will you take it or not? Will you take up the job or not? Allah is testing you. So for you, the best would be to reject this job 
inshallah Allah will give you a job which is better and inshallah I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may you give you a halal job which is much better than this job.